We're actually, uh, because of Purim, we lost ground, and we're essentially only uh, a lot ahead of tops. We, uh, where are we exactly? Uh, I'm Rabbi Yossi. Which is almost at the end of him and off. You have it? Okay, so Gemara said last week that if you have a chutzam, a tuach, you have a, uh, the size of a, uh, a, uh, a root, which is the size of a, uh, a, of a weaver's uh, loom. Which holds things in place, so that that even if the rest of the tree gets uprooted, so the tree is still considered to be mechubal akarka, and therefore uh, it never doesn't lose its status vis-a-vis your law. Okay, <laughs> so I'm Rabbi Yosef said, I feel yesh bo shol shorting. However, you should be aware that it's it's not it's it's not reflect uh, it's the uh, principle is not hard and fast meaning this to this extent sometimes even if a tree is three years old it doesn't have it doesn't have the, the this needle breadth meaning that if you find a root that breadth you know that the tree is three years old and uh, the the tree is out of the dinner parlor. But sometimes the tree can be three years old and not have a root that breadth. So it's not a it's not the it's a kula, not a chumra. That if we find the root that that broad, we assume that it already has gone past the three years. But even if it has it doesn't have a root that broad, it might still be past the three years, and we might be okay nonetheless. Okay. So. Uh, on Rabbi, the Rabbi has said concerning concerning this, Masis and beside Rabbi Yosi, uh, that we have a bright which is a riot to Rabbi Yosi in this respect. Amar Amar Rabbi, what does it say? Rabbi said that Afksha Aksha Amru, that there's a, although the bright here is brought that in shorthand, there's a law that if you have young saplings and there are 10 of them within a base of sign within 50 by 100, 5,000 square amos then you can uh, the, plow the area where they're growing right until Rosh Hashanah, Erev Shemitah you don't have to stop 30 days before by full grown trees they don't need as much nurturing so therefore you have to stop 30 days before by these trees you can go right up to Rosh Hashanah you don't have to stop earlier so as long as they're young they're the teos, they're saplings how long are they saplings? So Aksha Amru, even when they said the law of status saplings, they said it up to Benos Chamesh, Benos Sheish, Benos Sheva. They may, uh, it says that it's up to five years old and six years old and seven years old. So the Gemara said, asks, you know, the, the question here is, the God is not explicit, but what does it mean? It's either five, six, or seven. El Abikfanim, Benos Chamesh, when we're dealing with grapevines up to five years old, it's still considered to be a sapling. Betainim, whereby a fig tree Benos Sheish, up to six years old, is still a sapling. Betainim, my knowledge tree Benos Shev, up to seven years, is still a sapling. I asked the Gemara. Gordon Chame, Hadain Marvosa, Betainim, don't we see even younger fig trees? Younger than five years than than five or six years old. Asir Peruj grow fruit. So it must be is that even though they grow fruit, nonetheless we always looking at the size of the root. And until the size of the root is this size of uh Matuach, so it's not considered to be fully developed yet. And therefore even if it's growing fruit, even if it's older than three years old, since the roots are not yet fully developed, you can still pl- uh, plow in that area right till Rosh Hashanah uh, before Shemitah begins. Is that clear? Um, what's the connection between if the root is? is There's still saplings. A lot of saplings require more nurturing, so therefore these these are still considered to be saplings. They still require more nurturing, so therefore you can plow them right into Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> no, not do Torah. Right, right. It's much, it's much past Orla, but still, since the roots are small, so therefore you can are are uh, are, are uh, small in diameter, so you can continue to plow right until until uh, Rosh Hashanah Erev Shemitah. Okay, Amr Rabbi Yudan, and that's what Mar says. Amr Rabbi Yudan, Shabbat Amr Rabbi Yudan, 
for Rabbi Trifon, the son of Rabbi Trifon, uh, instead of Kirabi Trifon. Laovio we're talking about, and what defines these as being young trees, the width of the roots. Okay? Says Umar further now, is a quote for a Mishnah. Elon Shinekar Bo Brecha. You have a tree which was uprooted, but it had a runner growing from the tree into the ground. Right? You had taken a branch of the tree and run it back into the ground. So uh, we said that we go in the um, we go in that case as to when the runner was placed back in the ground. Or even the tree is 50 years old. The runner is two years old, so now the tree was going to have a status of orla for the next year. So uh, uh, it says more just on a complete tangent. What does Ubo Bo Bracha Brecha mean? Ubo Bracha. Um, this, uh, there are those who say that it means that it has a bracha, meaning that the runner which runs off is, is a bracha to the tree because it's an extension of the tree. Rabbi Chorib Shabbi Yochanan say Ubo Bricha. No, it's not, the Girsa is not bracha, although it has the same meaning, the Girsa is bricha. Our Ramon, Ramon said, Isbene Nash, there are certain individuals, Shmon Bricha, whose name is Bricha. Command Dharma, like that which it says in Chumash, Bo Bruch Hashem, come the blessed of God. So if you find somebody, a Chosid, who's named Bricha, Bulich, you know, for a Bricha, so then that's because it alludes to the fact that he's blessed of God. Okay, getting back to our, that's uh, a little bit of a God talk. Rabbi Zir, Rabbi Yassi, Rabbi Lezim, Sherem, Echina, and Rabbi Bor, Rabbi Chir, Rabbi Lezim, Rabbi Chayin, Rabbi Sherem, Rabbi Chayin, Rabbi Gamliel said, it's interesting the way they grafted things in the old days was they would graft also two living trees together so they would take the younger tree and graft it onto an adjacent older tree that's called sipuk it's not what's called uh, in English grafting is when you take a branch from one tree and graft it onto this tree but sipu is when you join together the branches of two trees adjacent to one another. Okay? So Yaldash the Sipu Kabbas Kane, if you have a younger tree, you graft it onto an older tree. So the Torah Yalda, even though the younger tree is within the three years of Orla, it's now exempt because it receives the status of the older tree. We have a price which indicates this. It says, Sipuk al Sipuk. So, sorry, Sipu Kufanim. If you have the say this arrangement by grapevines, Sipu Gal Sipu, and you're adding on one tree to another tree, you know, in a whole row, maybe add on tree to tree to tree down the line. So, Avapi Shibichal Oret, even though each one adds its own runners into the ground, Mutter, they're all permissible. Why? Because we look at them as being all interconnected, and some of them are older than three years old. Vichach Lomar. When second asked the Gemara, we should be we should be worried that maybe the one the younger tree took root in the ground before it became glued, so to speak, before it adhered to the older tree adjacent thereto. So why are we not afraid of Orla? So this is a rhetorical question. What the Gemara means to say is that it must be that Sipuk works. So despite the fact that maybe it took root in the ground before it got the graft took hold to the adjacent tree. Nonetheless, we look at the graft as determining the nature of the tree, not the taking root in the ground. So it's a very big Kiddush, a very big Kula by Sipuk that we give it the Kula of the tree next to it, not when it actually took root in the ground. It's a great loophole. Maybe because it's with the younger trees receiving nourishment from the older trees. Yeah, that has to be the case, right? And now Zumar is going to go into that in a little bit great detail. But first, Rabbi Hanina is going to argue. Rabbi Hanina prayed Rabbi Hilda, the Rabbi who says Rabbi Huda. That's all he called Rabbi Huda, because uh, th- that which we say that Sipek uh, Yalta Biskena works. You take the younger tree, graft the older tree, exempts the younger tree from from uh, from oil. That's called Rabbi Huda. Rabbi Huda Amramis Ache Ahi Achlo Tashrish. Rabbi says we definitely know that it makes a, a unit with the adjacent tree before it puts roots in the ground. But if you don't know that, according to him, if it's possible to put the roots in the ground before it create a unit with this adjacent tree, so then he would talk her it. Rabbi Yossi B'Shem Rehon said, Shroshim ain't bohem mamish. Now he says, 
even further. He says the roots have no significance. Now, roots here doesn't mean the roots. Roots here means the sepuk. The shrosh me me mamashi means that we don't look at all at the grafting. What's the status of the tree? The grapevine? When it's planted in the ground. That's it. The grafting doesn't do any make any difference. He argues on the entire previous Gemara. Right. He argues everything we just learned. Okay? All right, we see the Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Zir said to Rabbi Yossi, the Feiru Shema Tona mean the Rabbi Yochan, the Jew that's explicit Rabbi Yochan, Omen Shri Tose. Maybe error from, excuse me, the opinion of Rabbi Yochan elsewhere. What's the opinion of Rabbi Yochan elsewhere? The Tani came, we learned this way in the price. Iktish Vachakach Nota. What happens if you consecrate a tree to Hektish? And then you plant it. So it was hectic before it was planted, when it was still a sapling. Parts of Orla. So it's exempt from Orla, because hectic is exempt from Orla. Not a hectic. What happens if you plant it and then consecrate it after it's already planted? It's chayv Orla. It's chayv Orla. Why? Because the moment you planted it, it was already chayv in Orla. In fact, you might wish it afterwards. It doesn't take away the responsibility to keep Orla. Vatu Tsarvin Maimar, perhaps you want to say Hekdesh Potter Uzkena Potter. Let's draw a comparison. Hekdesh is exempt, Skena is exempt. Just like Hekdesh only exempts before the fact, not after the fact. <coughs> so to the Sipuk to Skena is not going to exempt you unless it happened before the fact with definitiveness. In other words, unless the Sipuk occurred before the root took. But at the moment the root takes before the sepuk, tough luck, you're out of luck. Right? Except we say the root doesn't take before the sepuk, the sepuk always comes first. No. We're going to see cases where not that way. That's a, that's a, anyway, that's our assumption right now, that it's possible one comes before, the, either one comes first. Below Daimyo says more, but that's not a good comparison. Because it's possible that Hektesh will not absolve you for the deed of our law, because Hektesh royal if does so. So Tektish could be redeemed V'luchayvo And be, could become Chayev Ho'ov eroi l'achsho v'luchayvo Since you can consider it Meaning you can uh, uh, Redesignate it And and um, Make it Chayev Therefore hek, If the Hektish follows The taking roots It doesn't exempt the, the tree from Orlo he says an interesting, uh, another interesting point. We had this actually earlier. If you have a tree, which is a younger tree, which you grafted on to uh, to an older tree, but the older tree is made for a fence. Um, excuse me. It's a younger tree, younger tree. They're both young, but the tree in which you grafted one is a fence tree, and fence trees are exempt. So we say that, that the graft onto that doesn't help either. Because the fence tree can be redesignated in a in a moment to be a fruit tree, right? So therefore, uh, if you just if you graft onto hectish or graft onto a, uh, a fence tree, that's not considered to take that which has already taken root, the tree has already taken root out of the category of our law. But says well, you know what? But here, perhaps, Esau garbage kater roy lachsho v'olav v'luchayva. Here, when you graft it onto an older tree, it's it's irrevocably non orla. In other words, by a case where the reason why the exemption from orla is because it's chveis uh, hektish, or because it's siog, so that's reversible. Take it out of hektish, redeem it. They're going to have siog by changing it to a fruit tree. So therefore, the grafting onto that tree is not going to prevent the grafted tree from having the dinner barla. Because it's not grafted to something which is strongly exempt from barla. It's not permanently... Right. But where it's a cane, it's an older tree. Exactly. So therefore, grafting on there, it's possible it's going to work even if it already took root. Perhaps grafting onto that takes off the problem. Okay. Says more further. Rabbi Yochanan says. So, so Sipuk uh, 2 and Hectus tree is still high of Orla? Yes. Even if it never Even took. if you never redeem it. Right. Because it's, it's a weak. It's, it's a weak exemption, not a strong exemption like an older tree. Okay? 
Revo Bashem Rabbi Yochanan said, Esrog Shachonat, an Esrog which already uh, a budded, uh, it's fruit, already budded small fruit, Bishnas or in the third year. Now the Grot takes out the next three words. The Sivchol Chaver, and, and afterwards, after it already budded the fruit, you graft it on to your fellow Esrog Shi next door. Afilu Maisiv Kama, even if it grows a lot more now, Oster, the Esther remains Oster. Why she ain't gidule Iser Malin as Iser? Once it budded as Iser during Orla, the fact that it grows much more is growing out of that Oster fruit, and therefore it can never become Ois Orla. Uh, can we tell three years in an Esther tree? I thought that the harvest is always. Uh, <laughs> you can tell. We can't. But yeah, they can tell which fruit was there within the first three years. Sure. So they can tell. So therefore, I feel must have come is also shaking to the isser, Molly Messer. That's it. Whatever grows afterwards can't take the esther out. Now, the truth is, it's not just an esther, as you point out. It could be any tree, right? Just esther is, uh, I guess, a common garden variety tree we can discuss. Um. I think that that's where it's taking that, sir. Maybe they chose us because you might think what I thought. Because that we can't tell. It does, you know, the harvest is always different times. Yeah, it, it uh, could be. Maybe that's why we chose it. I don't know. Well, so, says more. Uh, yalda. Uh, top of above and off. Now, if it's a yalda, meaning that there is no... It's a young esrog tree, but without any fruit on it, right? Shesipka, in that case, if you've made the graph, to hoira yalda. So in that case, I say whatever is growing growing, and of course now, are okay. Why? Because they're growing after the graft array took place. So it's ready the graft that took place. So therefore, there was never any ulcer component in this fruit, and therefore that's permissible. Okay, is that uh, clear? Depends if the ether already budded or didn't yet already bud. That's the dichotomy. Okay? Says the Gemara, in Tamar, because if you're going to say, this is all part of that, that statement, in Tamar, if you're going to say, that it's not mitzahir, because you grafted on before the fruit was there. I feel the most have come also. So no matter how much the fruit added, it's still going to remain also, right? So again, what the determining factor is, is there fruit on the vine at the time that I make the graft? If there already is, it remains also. There's nothing to do. If there wasn't yet fruit on the vine at that point, then after I graft, it becomes mutter. Okay? Says more further, Rabbi Zira B'Shem Rabbanin said, Esok B'Shechonat B'Shem B'Shas Orlo. And Esok which budded during an Orlo year. The Yotz B'Shnas Eter now went to a Heter year, right? Went into the fourth year. Uh, uh, the next two words are a typo. Afilu Mosif Kama Oser. Even if it adds on very much, it's also, it remains also. Now that we know, Ray, right? we just learned that. Here comes the Kiddush. Loki no love because you have any kazai that says or you get Malkus, we flog you. Now that's strange, I swear. Um, Rav Mesha, the Rav Zira, Rav Mesha said to Rav Zira, Tate Milun Atanormi, he just said two things. He told us two things, Vinu Plin, Chado, Chado, and they argue one on the other. What are the two things? Ha Chatu Normi, and here you say, She'en Gidu Le'iser, Malin Esa Yisr. It sounds like when an Esrog began growing during Orla, and they continue growing after Orla, the, it, the reason it's Osir is because that which grows out of the Esrog, which is Osir, cannot, uh, uh, cannot er- eradicate the previous Esrog. But that doesn't mean that the whole Esrog is Osir. It means that the additional growth is not strong enough to overcome the original growth. But is the whole Esther Gosser? No, only the original growth is Gosser. So say the Esther, when, when you grafted it, say the Esther was this big. And now it became this big. So now, this part's Gosser. This part can't be Mavatalit. But if I eat a Kazai, of this part here, am I Chayev? No. Because what's the kernel, what's the part which is really Gosser? This part. Okay? So it's obviously you know, doesn't it's not that simple, but you get the idea. So now that's one Gemara which you said. But Bahakatunarmin Lokin Lobik Zayas. So how can you say you like it no matter what Kazai seed of it? 
She'll only be loke if he ate from what's the that which is already there before it. She will be loke based on the uh, proportion what grew during Orlo, what didn't. Um, Rabbi Yen, Rabbi Yen has said there's a difference. In the one case where um, I forgot what this means. Just give me a second. Yeah, it's really very simple. Is the way he's learning, Rabbi Yoyno. When you when when. Uh, yeah, okay. He says like this. He says there's a trick here which he planned, which we didn't even, which we didn't, which we didn't notice, which is that in the case of. Um, let me show you. In the case, over here, here it says Esrog Shul. Three lines to the top, it says Esrog Shul Chonat. You see that? Down here it said Esrog Shul Chonat B'Shas Orla. Same thing it sounds like. The other Shnat said the same thing, but here it says Vesipko. Here it doesn't say Vesipko. On the bottom of Hema Beis says Vesipko. On the top of Vav Amad Alf it doesn't say Vesipko. So it says this is the difference. In this case over here, there's a Sipuk. Where there's a Sipuk, that means that now, during the Orla year, I'm sorry, after you, uh, 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 after you did the Sipuk, there's sustenance flowing into the Esrog, from a mutter tree, because you graft it onto a mutter tree. So here the chamalkas is going to be based on proportion, because here not everything is growing in the isra, right? Some of the, now the life force is coming from heter. Here the esrog uh, budded during the orla year, continued growing after the orla year is over, but there was no additional life force which is derived from a new source. So here, once it started off being Osir, it continues to be Osir. Okay? And here, therefore, the entire fruit is the prohibition, and the moment you eat it, to the fruit, that, that's Osir. So the critical difference between the two guys said here there was a sipuk out of extrinsic life force. Only get Malchus based on proportion. Here, there was no sipuk. Everything is intrinsic. And there we get Malchus even on a kazais. Okay? Uh, no matter what kazais you, you eat. So that's the more answers. Um, Rabbi Yenikan Machmas Atzmo Uchai. The case over here is a case where it gets on Vav and Alpha at the top is where it gets Chius on its own. So that's why you get Malchus no matter what kazais you eat from it. The Kan Machmas Sipuk here. Here it gets additional Chius on him and the base at the bottom from that which you made a Sipuk. So therefore here you only get Malchus proportionally based on what grew before the sepulch and what grew after the sepulch. Okay? Says more meata um Esrog Shachana B'Shas Orla an Esrog which, which uh, budded during an Orla year V'yotze B'Shnas Heter then it continued to grow during a year the Kol L'Chavero and you add it on to its friend now here it's complicated because here the gears is all messed up this Lo, it should be. You see where it skipped that where it says Tia Ruza it said. You see that a line below. Tia there's a missing sign there. Tia Ruza So the way he changes the gear saw. The name of Gra Lo Tia Ruza They're not matter each other. It doesn't matter how many seapooks he make. You know, you might not get Malchus except based on perhaps some proportion, which is going to be extremely watered down. But the bottom line is that as long as the Esrog started growing during the Orla year, it was Chaynet Bishah Sorla, that's it, remains also forever. There's no low Tiaruzetze, never is Misaki. 
Okay. Rav Obishay Rav Chista Bishay Rav Yecha. Sorry. Rav Chista and Rav Chista. Tavein Rami. They both said Bistam Chalukin. They're arguing about a case where it's stoma. Now, who's arguing? Turn back to the Mishnah for a moment. And hey, down on the base. So it said, Sibukakfanim. Do you see that? Sibukakfanim. You are grafted one to another. Sibukagabi, Sibukia. You grafted a whole row, one out of the other. Abu Pishivichim Baret. Even though then you ran a runner to the ground motor. Right? Mayor said, it says, it depends. Malkum Shakoycha Yafa, where the Sipuk is a good one, motor. The tree is bristle. Malkum Shakoycha Ra, where the Sipuk doesn't take well, us. It's forbidden. Now we're going to try to explain this, Machlokas. Okay? So I have all Rabbi O, Rabbi O, Bashem, Rabbi O, Rachis, Tarvain, Armin, they both said, Bistam Chalukin. Ramey Rabbana argued a case where it's time, where we don't know if it's strong or weak. Says more now. Wait a minute. Man on camera. What are we talking about? Eid Dover Bari Shu Chashu Chahu. If it's a clear thing, Shu Chai Mikor Chazkeno, that life force is coming into the young, uh, young, young tree from the older tree. The Verko Mutter, everybody should get its mutter. Eid Dover Bari Shu Chai Mikor Chayalda, and if the young tree is growing on its own, because it's a runner, the vehicle also. Everybody agrees it's also. El kinakayam. What must you tell about b'stam where it's not known? So if that's the case, kids, are you there? How do you know wh- which is giving the sustenance? How do you know if the sustenance is coming from the older tree to which is attached, or it's coming from the younger tree in and of itself? How do we know this? So kids, are you there? How do you know? Rabbi Yisrael Rechid said, "Ima you are lena puchim klape ayalda." If the leaves are turned towards the younger tree. Then it means that the life force is coming from the older tree. If the leaves are turning towards the older tree, it's clear that the life force is coming from the younger tree. How do we know this? What's the simon here to know this? What's the psychological thing? Simona. The way to remember this is the Achim in Chavrei. Somebody eats from their friend. Boy, Mistakabe is embarrassed to look in their face. So therefore, if this is the older tree and this is the younger tree, and leaves are facing this way, where is the sustenance coming from? Leaves are facing. What? Right. Okay, it's coming from wherever the leaves are pointing away from. The giver always faces a uh, uh, person who lacks a car so tough. It's tremendous Mr. Haskell in this Gemara. The guy who's gas is being sustained lacks a car so tough, so he turns in the other direction. Okay? Oh, so here's another major typo. There should be really a question. So if that's the case, we need Dog Baalin. So why is there a Machlux Ramein Rabona? Let's check the leaves. What else? Well, why do we have to check anything else? Says more, a very important question answer. Um, Rabbi Yudan Avoid the Rabbi Master, Rabbi Yudan Father Master said, the Potter uh, uh, resolve or explain that's the about case, Shinosh Ra'alin, all leaves are gone, so we can't reckon by that. We have to reckon by, um, by, by, uh, by, by. I mean, I'm about to argue in that case, is it? Well, I don't have anything by which to reckon. What do I assume? What, what, what is the basic assumption? Is the basic assumption that um, I mean, old, that we look at the, uh, the the quality of the trees involved and uh, whether this cana is a good tree and the yakama is a bad tree? And that Akama says we're going to the uh, Lebu Shlaim bring down from the Rasulim and Pnei Moshe you always assume that the younger tree is getting from the older tree which is always the cooler okay that's uh, and you always make on this matter I'm trying to think of a cooler with the leaves you know the same thing because it's the same uh, comparison it could be thing is they turn towards each other when things are going well no they turn towards each other when things are going well yeah, I think it's going back to the from the So it might be the opposite, though. Okay, but it's a, it's a, a for creativity, that's for sure. Okay, says more further. Um, 
What happens if the, the runner breaks off from the main tree? So then you start over again. It's not just talking about the runner. What if the tree itself from which the runner comes now gets uprooted? So what determines the age of the tree now? The runner, the shoot off the side. Okay, because that's what's still connected. Now, why is he telling us this? Because Rabbi Yosef said, "Hey, Rabbi Yosef, once upon a time, an onion which you uprooted it, Rishaslo. Now you uprooted. I think you took off some mites this right? Yeah. You uprooted the onion, and you took off mites for it, and then you replanted it again. Okay? I think you're close, but you did it." Right, you you uh, uprooted it, took a meister, and then planted it again. So you have to take off a meister a second time when it grows. You see the question? Right. So the thing is, the clutch factor sets in, and you you shot came chishrish. What's it take? Two meister if he cool up. Too bad. You start over again. Also, Rabbi Chiyah B'Shem Yochan said, "Botzol Shachro, the Shachro, he planted a cave in Jesus. What's again? Takes root. My Silafi Kulo. Now, all this is fine, but the Lotis Bar May Maraf Lachakein. Don't think here it's the same thing. Here it's not the same thing. Here he says that." Um, You're reading about Varla, yeah. Mm. Yeah, because it's talking about like this. Where the tree is uprooted and you replanted it, it's not automatically Chayv and Orla. So it's by mice, just the moment you, a tree is up, uh, an onion is uprooted and replanted, it's Chayv and mice automatically as if nothing ever happened to it. Even though you already miced it while it was uh, on the ground, right? But now you have Chayv it again. He says, by our law, it depends. If a tree was uprooted and now replanted or held to the ground by the runner next door, right? It only becomes our law if the tree actually grew in this state. The tree grew in the state that it, uh, the tree grew in the state of being reconnected to the ground. You know how much it has to grow in order to become ulcer? While it's reconnected to the ground? One two hundredths of its growth. 0.5% of its growth. That already ulcers it. Okay, so there, as opposed to. Um, um, uh, suppose the onion, which is replanted, where you miser immediately. The once it could takes root, you miser immediately on the entire onion, even though already miser months before. Here by Orla, it's not like that. By Orla, everything is proportionate, and therefore I say that uh, unless well, I don't know, proportionate is the right word. But unless once we plant the ground, it's not just enough to replant; that's to grow one to hundred in that situation, and then only then to become chayv and Orla once more. Okay, so it's not immediate. That's where we're stressing. Okay, says the word further. The low keys bar. Oh, just that. Chilfi show Rabbi Yochan. Chilfi asks Rabbi Yochan, Rabbi Shimon, and he asks Rabbi Shimon as well. Tevel Mao shows Rabbi Yosef Misayim. We said Orla asks us one in two hundred. And therefore, the fruit grew one to hundred of growth under all the conditions. It remains also, right? What about tevel? What about here? Tevel doesn't mean untight, but it means tough, spices. Yeah, spices of Orla. Mao she asked be answer my sign. Do they ask for more than one two hundred? Because spices obviously have very strong taste. I'm like, in yes, he said tevel be answer me my sign. Tevel to if it's a spice, it's more than one in two hundred. Still answers. Ask the Gemara, but see how can you say this that we learn? Call I'm a chaim. It's anything which causes fermentation, right? Sour though. Vam et tavo anything with spices. Vam et ameya and anything which mixes by our law is also. 
Now, eat Tamer Lamayim or Isayim. So it says to Gemara, if you're going to say that it's 100 or 200, um, that that's the um, going rate, so to speak. Uh, uh, got the proof. Right. You got it. You're going to say that even by Second, is this a proof or a question? Oh, I did such a bad mistake. I am so stupid. Oh. No, it's okay. Uh, I read that. I read something. Like Again, let's start from Chilfi. Chilfi Shol Rabbi Yochum Rabbi Shimma Tell him how she has to be us in the Sayyim Amrle, I read it in Yes That's not the way to read it Ain Ain Tevel The yes or miss Sayyim It doesn't ask for more than 200 Spice is the same like anything else It asks 1 in 200 Just like regular Arla Ain Tevel the yes or miss Sayyim And that the more asked Wait a minute. If that's the case, if you're going to say that, it says that anything which causes fermentation or spicing or mixture by Orla is also, so it says more. The wise surprise is stressing that it fermented or that it spiced. In Timur, if you're going to say, I feel a little man that it's a regular 100 cheer, 200 cheer by Orla. I feel a little T-bell. So what do you mean that it fermented? What do you mean it's spiced? Who cares? It's the exact same thing whether it fermented or spiced or not. Just say madame, just say it's got mixed in. What is stressing spiced? What do you mean spiced? It's no different. You understand what the more is asking? Yeah, I would, I, you could be asked either way. You could say, well, even though you might think that because it's stronger, no, it's the same. It's locked out. What? Did you see that? Um, they're, they're asking, they're saying because it was emphasized in the yeah. Mishnah, right? yeah. that yeah. means it, that it is strong. Right. And therefore, the 1 200 doesn't. The loss is in a much smaller proportion. That's right. And I could say the same proof the other way. How so? The, the price uh, mentions it. Yes. Even though you might think that because it's stronger, that it, it's a small proportion. Mm-hmm. No, it's the same. See, I don't think that the problem is, yeah, I hear what you say, it's not really bright, it's a Mishnah. And it doesn't specify sheer, it just says they're also. So our assumption is that also there means that even if it's less than 1 in 200. The, just the use of the word also without masain means it's more chomer. That's our assumption, okay? So it says more. you know what? Elaban novi manakayom, a very strange answer. Avadi! It's regular spice, it answers in much less than 200. We're talking about grapes. When grapes are used as spice, what's their sheer tasser? That's our shadow which we're dealing with. Grapes use the spice. Now, Rabbi Yadat, Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Yossi said, Bishalot Tzomku. On that, Rabbi Yochan answered that grapes have the same thing as anything else, because not really an herb, not really a spice. However, that's only if they're not raisins. Avlim Tzomku, but if they do, are raisins already, Yesh Tevel, Yesh Mitzlam, so it creates Tevel, even, uh, it creates the spices, and it answers even if it's more than one in two hundred. Even if it's one in three hundred, because it can still make a spice. Rabbi Chesh Rabbi Yochan also said a similar part, Bishlo Bishlo. When is it bought the water to order of its grapes if it's not mature? Avlim Bishlo, but if it already is mature, Yesh Tevel Yosem Rasayim, so it asks even in greater proportions than one in two hundred. Okay?
Now, now we have a whole addition here. A very basic addition. Rabbi Chi, you don't have it. Rabbi Chi or Barbo, I'm reading it out inside. I'm reading it outside. <laughs> Whatever. Rabbi Chi or Barbo, the Shere Yeshua Balevi said, Nice day, Tommy. Dalach of Nice day, Tommy. Call it Arakula. That which gives a taste is awesome. What's a shear? No. That's the next opinion, which is in the word. But the opinion which is not in the word is that it's echo mi meo. It's one in a hundred. Okay? So, now, back to the Gemara. Rabbi Yosef Shev Shubalevi, the Shev Rabbi Toya said, Nois di tamim echo mi shisham. One sixty. So it's a machlekes. Amar Shmuel bar Rav Yitzchak, Rav Chia bar Bo. Shmuel bar Yitzchak said, or Shmuel bar Yitzchak said, to Chia bar Bo said it's one in one hundred. Oh, Rabbi Yossi Poligolach, first of all, Rabbi Yossi argues that. That's not so bad. But besides that, Masisa Pligal Trecho, the Bryce argues on both of you. What does the Bryce say? Right, though, he said all these things by Orla. If it ferments, if it causes spice, if it causes a mixture, it's awesome. In Tamil and Mayo must I have you gonna say the proportion is one in a hundred or one in two hundred. I feel a little chimates, I feel a little t-bell. Right? If it's gonna say that that Mishnah or Bryson is talking about when it's a regular case, right? There's no difference between whether it's spiced or not. So then then don't bring down that we're talking about where it's spiced or fermented. Say so, hey, stop. Uh, it must be that it's always one in two hundred. Ella be This must be that this house is even one in three hundred, one in four hundred, because it's much more chomer. Must be spices and herbs and so on are so much more chomer. So it's a cash on, uh, 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 a cash on you guys. Why is the cash on you guys? I forgot. Um, oh, right. If you're going to say the normal shear shear is sixty or a hundred, so speak about normal. Well, one or two hundred. One or one hundred would be totally referring to something else. All in Namiyas is one or two hundred. Except, says that Mishnah, spices and herbs and so on and so forth, it's, it's more, like one in three hundred. So he says, if no say time, it's always one in a hundred, one in sixty. Why are you talking about specifically about Orla? Tell us that herbs and spices must be any regular pit tool is much more than normal. It's more than sixty, more than a hundred. Why focus the conversation or let's speak about anything under the sun? It's been dealing with Orla here. Yeah, it's not a, it doesn't seem like such a strong question. <laughs> I mean, this is Nozing Town. We're talking about, like, Gita Noshe. Yeah. I think I have the question wrong. Let me try it diff- differently. See the question like this. The question is that. Yeah. So how many the Gemara was that no say time, which I said in 60 or 100, he needs even half it. That's the sheer of taste. And that the Gemara asked, so if that's the sheer of taste, how could they say over there by Orla? That it asks is even one in three hundred. That's more his question. It's a much more direct question. Because the hot meat more is that it's sixty or hundred is also sheer for a tablet. Is it the sheer for tablet? It's not. That's the half meat of the more. And then the more asked, so if that's a sheer for tablet, so then how can you say by Orla that it's more than one in two hundred, it's even one in three hundred? The premise is wrong. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Says so the Gemara. You know where it's one in sixty or one in a hundred? Says the Gemara. Am Rav Shmuel Rav Yitzchak. Oh no, sorry. Am Rav Yirmiyah. Tipater baser bebaser. When does she have sixty? Like chicken, ch- uh, pig and pig and chicken. Then the shear is 60. By economy, by tavern, the shear is much more. Okay? So the premise is wrong. Right? That's exactly the point. I'm Rabbi Yisrael. He said, He bought the rebosar. The same thing is true by meat and meat. He shot koi suri. Or any other issue, such as cheese and meat. Or, you know, any other thing of that sort. So long as it's not a tavern. Do I'm Rabbi Yisrael. Rabbi Yisrael. Koi suri mishai no yisrael. Or yisrael mishai no yisrael. We reckon. But it should be bottle be kaflut. As if they're onions and turnips. 
which means all sorts of commonalities of vegetables or any other kinds of foodstuffs. The main thing is that's not spice. Spice throws everything awry. But in foodstuffs, it's what at 61 and 100. My Kadun, what came up concerning this? Ahain um, Omar. Well, my Kadun here, what's where they are doing? Ahain Omar, no, say, Tommy, I'm going to the, he who said that no time is one out of hundred. Vain Omar, and the person who says no time is echo mishishim. One six is what's the machlokas? Madamar no time is echo mishishim. He also no time is one sixtieth. At oisas as goya echo mishishim bayim. Where do we learn our bittul barov from? I mean bittul tam. We learn from zro mishelo. So locha that by uh, when you bring a ram as an asher, you cook it whole. Even the Zroa, the forearm, is supposed to go to the Kohen together with the rest of the ram which goes to the Israel. And of course, if you cook it together, so the forearm should ask for the rest of the, the ram for Israel. Right? It does. From there, we learn that, 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 that the, the taste can be bought at a certain point. Now, how do they reckon what the shear is? So, Madamar says 60. At Oisah says, Roi, He says that the forearm is one sixtieth of the entire ram. Madamar Echemei, who said it's one, one hundred. At Oisah says, Roi, Echemei, Mei, Abai, also it's one. In Machlok, he says it's one out of a hundred. Now, of course, it's such a tremendous Machlok, it's what's it based on? Madamar Echemei, Mei, he says it's one, one hundred. At Moiti, at Somos, Mei, Azroa. He says, you look at meat being bottled in meat. And that's one, one hundred. The meat of the Zra Bishela is one percent of the entire mixture. Okay? Madovar Echomishim of the entire mixture with meat. Mad Echomishim Eina Moti is at Somos Minas Roa. You don't uh, you don't take the, the bones out of the Zroa. And therefore the Zroa has a lot of bones, disproportionate amount of bones in the forearm. So therefore quite then the shear is one sixtieth. Not one in a hundred. Including the bones. Including the bones in the answer. Okay? But say it's Gemara. Okshem shad moiti. Okshem shad moiti. Esat somas minas roa. Just like you take out the bones in the roa. Yeah, quite a matter of holds it's one in a hundred. So take out the bones altogether across the board. Okshem shad moiti. Just like you need to take the bones out of the Zroa, take them out of the whole ram. And then you'll come back to 160th. Perhaps, okay? But the point is that how you know to take them only out of the out of the the, 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 the forearm and not take them out of the rest of the arm, the rest of the animal. Lace Yachio, you can't do that. I skipped. No, I didn't, no. You know why? The Tanim learned ain't you know for truma means they're everything about truma. The the refuse of the truma, let's say the husks, the shells, they don't join with the truma. Less there's a chulin to ask for the chulin in which they get mixed. Avul tinoy for shulchulin, but the husks and shells of chulin, which they're everything about chulin, they join with together with the chulin. The house is a truma to cancel the truma. Now, Rabibi boy, Rabibi asks like this. The husks of truma, do they join with the chulin to cancel the truma which is in the husk? The answer is yes. We pass in a dos. Okay? We might have a rabbi of Rabuna from Chuna. That's what Chuna said. Klipe is a mitzarpin leheter. The shells which are usher join with the stuff which is going to be which is going to be mutter in order to be mevatel this in order to cancel it Adam Ross teaches us Tinoi Feshio Truma the husks of Truma meets the Refesi Machulin they join with the Chulin Laos is a Truma to uplift the Truma so therefore he holds we have to count the bones in the Heter in other words the Machlokas is everybody agrees that the bones join in with the it was a mattering substance. The question is, what's the status of the bones in the throat of Shalom? Are those bones regarded as having significance? And they're part of the part which goes to the Kohen, and therefore it's one sixtieth of the rest of the animal? Or are those bones insignificant? And therefore the throat of Shalom is only one one hundredth of the entire animal. That's the Mount Okay?
No psukim, just smart. Tari Rebbe Chia said, Ko Masher Asarti Lchobe Moka Macher. He argues on the whole previous Gemara. Says, you know what? Really, 100 is bad. You need 1 in 101. Or 1 in 60 is bad. You need 1 in 61. Why is that? Because he says, Ko Masher Asarti. You don't understand the whole partial Zerobus Shela. The whole concept of Zerobus Shela is Ko Masher Asarti Lchobe Moka Macher. Anything I asked her for you in other places, he tied to the Chokana allowed you by Zerobus Shela. But Zerobus Shela is something which Taco would be us or anywhere else. So therefore, anywhere else you need one in one hundred one, not one in hundred. One in sixty one, not one in sixty. Only throws shows a case, special case. The fish of Bchomokom, the fish has it all over. May answer. Hundred is answer. May have owed most of it's hundred one. It's okay. The Ram Hacha, but here by its Rabbi which is a special case, I feel may have most of even if it's a hundred, that's okay. Okay. Now, speak, skip to the next word. Let's start a new part of our Mishnah. Most even Masayim also. If it grew one to hundred, once it got reconnected to the ground in an oil of fashion, it's also. How you know it grows with one to hundred? The base Rabbiani Misharin, the house Rabbiani, they would to make a reckoning called in Yarzuva with grass which were called the Arzuva grass. Okay, so they had to know the rate of, of uh, decomposition. Rabbi Shem Rechina said, Loki Echod Amini Echod. You gather one Yarzuva. And you leave one your zuva on the tree. Matches a pochi semosif. In the time it takes for the one which you plucked off the tree to dry. Let's say it takes 200 hours for it to dry. So what tosif must sign? What? What would be one two hundredth of two hundred? One hour. Because I say the proportion which it grows is an inverse proportion to the proportion which it dries. So the amount of time it takes to dry is divide that by 90, I think we're saying. Right? 200, sorry. Divide by 200. That's the amount of time it takes for it to grow 200 as well. Okay? Right. The Dalach Dal. The Tiyah Shorla. You have a plant of orla, which shall kill a carom, or of kill a carom, of, uh, of a vineyard which became osir. She is arva material to describe mixed up with other saplings. Haraisal yukal, you're not allowed to gather from any of them. Why is that? Because the mixture is not bought to barov. Why is it not bought to barov? Even they have majority of mutter plants. Why is it not bought to barov? Koko vok mechza mechza dami. It's kavua. Old friend, it's kavua because nothing here is mixing. Every tree is standing by itself. Okay, now of course this is Judaism. We got a loophole. but if you did gather yalu mechum so it's bought to barov one in two hundred. Uvachli skavin lo kopei now out to intend, of course, to go and be located lechatchila. Rabbi Yosi or Rabbi Yosi says, if you skavin v'yil, because you're allowed to go ahead and even do it even lechatchila. We, 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 they, they'll, they will, uh, they, they'll be mutter one and two hundred. Now, the reason why Rabbi Yossi is matter this is because it's not clear. The courage should be also, right? But he says because, uh, uh, he brings out two reasons. One is because that a person sees him does it, was going to think he's just pruning his tree. And not that he intends to gather the fruits in order to eat, right? It's just putting his tree in order to make it grow better. And B, also it brings out a reason in the Bavli which says that uh, just because we let him gather, I don't like the second reason. We'll just leave the first reason. In other words, we're, we're, people are not going to assume he's going to eat from this, right? At least their iser. People just assume that he's gathering the bad branches or whatever the case may be. So there's no marriage sign in this case. Okay, so let's go on further. The tia shalala, the tia shalala, the is the mamish of Baal is your question. How do you lose a sapling? What does it mean? The tia shalala, I understand, right? But the tia shalala, the what does it mean you lost in the tea of Kila Karim? It means the lost in Sabu of Kila Karim? It should be, the next word should be, the Chi Kal Natios Ain and Kila Ain Bakarim. It must mean that he lost a plant in a vineyard. A plant in the vineyard which makes the vineyard Kila Ain. 
But Chacham, you want you have to be able to identify that plant, right? Because it's the one which is not like the others. It's so isn't obvious which one it is. So what does it mean you lost it? How can you lose it? So it says Markini Masi says, no, this is what it meant. These are Ruga Shokilakaram, it's a Londish thing. But was you had a whole patch of Kiliakaram which got us usur. Because there was a there was a, let's say a grain in there. Then the grain got harvested. The patch is still lost. Sir. Now the patch of grape bites gets lost in your bigger grape grape in your bigger vineyard. That's where it's, that's where we have to come out to bit Okay? Okay? Uh on Rabbi Yosibarabu, Rabbi Yosibarabu said another shot. But much simpler. He said so about a case where he brought a perforated plant which had grain in it and he passed it underneath a grape vine. you don't know which one okay so then it became clear at that point but you don't know what happened afterwards okay you know what you, you send our mission you're not allowed to gather, but you're allowed to gather three clusters at any time. Why three clusters? Because I assume that the also clusters bought up or off. We're made of God's. Okay? The more the truth is. So that's called Paris the river. Yeah, but the Gemara is going to ask how you're allowed to go and do that. Right? The Chorei now shouldn't be able to allow to go out and the Chatechila to go out and collect. Let's late, we'll leave this. We'll come back to this tomorrow night.